Hello, sports cards enthusiasts. It's Chris with Maker Sports Cards here. Had an exciting mail day so far today. UPS just dropped off my first ever submission to hybrid grading approach or HGA as they known come to be known in the hobby. And uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and just do a quick video and open it up for you. There should be five cards in here. Um, I sent in just sort of a sampling of some cards that I had around that uh, I was curious how they would come back. There's one for a personal collection and there's, uh, the others would all be things that would just be investments that I'll probably try to turn around and sell at some point. So here we go. Without further ado, let's get into this. I'm really excited about this. I, uh, I think I sent these in at the beginning of April, so I know they've been running a little bit behind. I'm a little bit bummed uh, by that, but I'm really glad to have them back. I have was, I have been lucky enough to get in and get two other orders besides this one uh, submitted to them as well. Um, so I'm waiting on those to come back. Uh, hopefully in the near future. I think that this box has gotten a little wet. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what's happened to the inside of the uh, packaging and everything in here. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I've got a couple other orders in with them. So I'm uh, excited to get those back. Oh, good. They use styrofoam peanuts. I hate those things, but that's all right. As long as my cards are protected, that's the most important. So, all right. I'm trying to figure out how to do this here. It's the first time I've opened one of these boxes, obviously. And, um, I need to find some place to put some styrofoam peanuts for a minute. So let's just do this. Luckily, I've got a little empty box over here. Um, I can see one of the cards down in there already, so I'm trying to not give away... Uh, I don't know what the grades are on these, I guess I should say, so I'm trying not to see them myself. I want to be able to um, to experience them the same as, as uh, you guys um, firsthand. So uh, I, I'm excited about HGA. I think that... I think they, they're doing some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I hope that they are able to get their um, their process uh, figured out and continue to take additional cards. All right, here we go. There we go. Let me get this box and this box out of the way here real quick. Uh, like I was saying, I hope that they're able to, to get their process figured out and get some... Uh, continue to get additional cards into their pool uh, of grades. So, all right, as I mentioned, there should be five cards in here. Um, we'll just start out, I'll pull the one off of the, the top here. Um, let's just do this. And let's just see if we can't see. So, all right, a Jimmy Butler uh, Panini Revolution Vortex Cubic. I actually pulled this from a pack uh, and this came back as a 9.5. So you can see on this, I did the the splash match the card label. So I, I messed around with a little bit of these labels too and just picked some different ones uh, just so I could kind of see what they were. This came back as a 9.5 gem mint. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, cool thing about this card, it's a, a card that I pulled from a pack. So I'm happy to get a, a gem mint on that. And then also, uh, the other nice thing about it is it's a... It's a number to 50, so 41 out of 50. Um, here you can see the back of the slab. They've got their number, their information on it. Obviously the back of the card. And then here's the a little bit closer look at the label for you. Uh, really excited about this. Really glad to have pulled a, a, a 9.5 from my first card from them. So really looking forward to the other cards in the set. Or in the uh, submission, I guess I should say. So let's go ahead and we'll put this off to the side here. And we'll get the next card going, which I think needs to be flipped. It does. And the next card is going to be a Panini Mosaic Zion Williamson. And we pulled a nine on that. So a Mosaic Rookie of Zion. Not too bad. Uh, on this, let's see. On this one, I believe I did the team match. Yes. So you can see it's kind of got the team colors and the logo here. Um, looks like we had uh, a little bit of an issue on some corners and a little bit of issue on some edges. Uh, I do kind of see where there's not quite a clean cut right across probably that edge, it looks like. Um, so anyway, uh, still excited about that. Anytime you can get a graded design card, I think uh, I think the, the more the merrier, the better that it is. Um, here's the back again of this one. 
All right, without further ado, let's get into the next card is going to be, I'm going to have to flip this over again. Next card is going to be a Fernando Tatis Jr. Tops Update card, and we pulled a Gem Mint 9.5 on this too. All right, super excited about this. This guy is having a wonderful year. Uh, signed a big contract, um, had some had some uh, injuries a few weeks ago, but he's back, and uh, I think I just saw a video of him uh, doing some amazing things, hitting a couple home runs, and, and doing that kind of stuff. So super excited on this. On this one, I did the Splash Match card. Uh, so you can see it's probably pretty close. I would assume this logo would be fairly close um, to if we matched the team as well, just based on the colors that are in the card and the, the colors that they decided to use here. Um, again, edges. Looks like I'm going to have to pay a little bit more attention to my edges when I look at cards. And I think I can see right there, actually on that edge. It might be difficult for you to see on the video, um, but I can see a little bit of a fraying, a little bit of a bump right there on that edge. So it looks like I missed that when I sent it in, but still uh, happy to get the rest of the centering and everything else um, squared away on this. Pulled a Jim Mint 9.5. So, so far we're, we're doing great. We've got Two gem mints and a mint. Um, here's the back of this card. Super excited about this one for sure. Uh, not sure that I've seen any of these yet listed on eBay or anything like that for sale. So uh, very excited about that. Let's go ahead and get these on here so you can see them. And without further ado, let's get on to the next card. So the next card, I think if I'm looking at this correctly, yep, this is a tops now. So this is really a, a PC card. Um, from earlier this year, uh, I went ahead and sent this in just because I thought it would kind of look cool maybe in one of these slabs and thought, hey, why not? Let's go ahead and see what, what we get on it and uh, kind of try out the HGA service. So, um, you know, it, this was definitely something that is really not, uh, I'm probably not looking to sell. It's just something I'll probably keep and hold on to. But anyway, without further ado, let's look and see what we got. All right, another Jim Mint. And this is the Tops Now Bernie Sanders card from the inauguration where he was wearing mittens. Uh, the edges are a 10, so it did great on the edges on this. Centering's a bit off, so need to pay a little bit more attention to that next time. Uh, but then you can see the corners and the surface also scored 9.5, so very nice. On this card, uh, I went ahead and did the splash match card. I think in the future, if I was going to grade this card, they do a custom um, a label now for, I believe it's $10 extra. That may change um, at any time, given the way prices are going on grading in the industry right now, but I believe for $10, you can do a custom card and I probably would have tried to match it maybe more to this flag, I think. I think that would be really nice kind of in the background of that with all of the uh, information and everything over the top of it. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the back of this. Again, nothing amazing. The back of the, the label is pretty much the same on all of these. It just has the individual graded card number. Uh, you can see the back of the card there, but Super excited. We're uh, we're three for four so far, so we're 75% on our gem mint rate. And there's one more card coming up in this set, so or in this uh, submission, I guess I should say. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over here. And uh, this is another card that I pulled from a pack. I, I believe this came out of a Prism Draft Picks um, pack or bo blaster box, if I remember correctly. So let's see what we've got here. It was a downtown of... Nyoke uh, Nkangwu, and you can see we scored a mint nine on this. So the surface was a, had some blemishes on it, apparently, and uh, the centering seems to be way off. And uh, looking at that, I can kind of see it now. Um, there's definitely more room on this side than there is on this side of the card. Uh, and also from top to bottom, it looks like it's way off as well. So centering, uh, I definitely need to do a better job at watching that one. Uh, these down car downtown cards are just super sweet. I really like them. Uh, on this one, I went ahead and went with their neutral match the card option. So you can see they pulled some of the colors out of the out of the main imagery of the card and used them in the label. Um, but again, super happy with this. Very glad to have these cards back. Uh, my corners I did well on, and my edges I did well on again. So I'm very excited about that. This was uh, a as much a an investment as it was a learning experience for me on these first number of cards that I'm that I'm submitting to them. Let's go ahead and flip that over. You can see the back really quick. Um, so there you go. There you have it. Uh, there are my my five cards that I submitted to HGA uh, on my first ever submission. And you can see we scored uh, 
three nine fives and two nines. So we were three for five on gem mints. I'm pretty happy with that percentage and uh, very glad, like I said, to have these back. So uh, please hit the subscribe and like button and the bell icon uh, to turn on notifications so you'll get notified anytime I post new video content. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts on HGA. Let me know if you've been lucky enough to get any cards in and get them graded uh, and are waiting on them to come back. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and enjoy collecting.